Hi there, this is Lula LV. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending some of your time with me today. I hope you're having a good one. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my entire Louis Vuitton collection, and I will tell you the price I paid when I purchased the item versus the prices today. I was really surprised when I sat down and actually added up all the prices. I purchased my first piece, which is this one right here in 2019. I'm filming this in May 2022. So in just three years and with the small collection that I have, I was really shocked at how much the price of these items went up. So stay tuned till the very end where I will give the total of what I spent versus what you would pay today if you bought all of these pieces in store. Without further ado, let's get started with the first item I purchased in 2019. And yes, you can see here it is my never full. This was the first item I purchased and this is the only item that I did not buy directly from Louis Vuitton. I did buy this pre-loved. I explain why I bought this pre-loved in a recent video called My Cheapest Bags. It was a super dake up tag video. So if you're interested, I will link that above and you can hear the backstory about why I purchased this and why I went pre-loved. I bought this at a local consignment store for $925 and that was in August of 2019. The retail price at the time was $1,325, so just about a $400 savings. This bag currently retails for $2,030. So from 2019 to 2022, this bag has increased in price from the store $1,105, more than double what I paid three years ago. The next two items I purchased in 2020 were this six key holder in monogram canvas and this mini pochette accessoire in Damia Bean. I purchased the six key holder first. This was in January and I paid $265. It's increased in price $60 since then and it now retails for $325. Again, all of these prices are in US dollars. I purchased this because my key ring that I had been using for many, many years broke and I wanted to get a new key holder. I decided to go with this one and I absolutely love it. After that, I decided to purchase this mini pochette accessoire as a catch-all to organize some of the items in my Neverfull. And this is one of my most used items. I'm really glad I purchased this at the time because I purchased it for $445. It now retails for $745. So in the past two years that I've had this, this has gone up $300 in retail price. This was hit hard by the uh, most recent price increases. Now let's move on to 2021. The first item I actually bought that year was in April and it was the Never Full in Empreinte Leather. I purchased it in the color Turtle Dove. I actually don't have that item with me today, so I will include a picture that I have of that item. It is actually with Louis Vuitton right now being assessed for a repair due to some yellowing leather on the base of that item so i have been keeping everyone updated on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram i will link to my profile below and hopefully once the a whole repair and the assessment is done by louis vuitton i will publish another video on that item at the time april of 2021 it retailed for two thousand two hundred and sixty dollars it has since increased four hundred and fifty dollars in price to $2,710. At the same time I purchased the Neverfull, I also purchased this BB Bandeau. And you'll have to excuse how wrinkled it is. I removed it from one of my bags where I had it tied uh, around the top handle, so it is quite wrinkled right now. I do need to 
steam it to get the wrinkles out. But I bought this from their astrology collection. It is a Virgo bandeau in the BB size. I am a September baby, and I just love the pink and purple colors on here. I thought it was really beautiful. This was $200 at the time, and today the BB size bandeaus retail for $210. So these have increased nominally. So the next two bags I went for were the Speedy. I purchased the Speedy Bandolier in the size 30. As you can see in the Damier Bean canvas, this I purchased in, I believe, May. And then the next bag I purchased after that was also in the Damier Bean, and it was the Alma in the PM size. Price-wise, these were very, very interesting. The Speedy, when I purchased this last year, was $1,680. The Alma was $1,660. So they were just about the same price, but the Alma was $20 less. Today, the Alma is now the more expensive piece at $1,960. This has gone up $300, whereas the Speedy has only gone up $210. It's now $1,890. So this is below the $1,900 mark, and this is above the $1,900 mark. So I thought that was really interesting when I sat down to do the prices. The next item I purchased in 2021 is arguably one of Louis Vuitton's most popular pieces, and that is the Pochette Accessoire. I purchased this in August, and this was a panic purchase. I wanted to get it before the next price increase. And while I would not recommend panic purchasing anything, I am really glad I did. This bag was $790 at the time. The price increase prior to when I got it, it was $630. So the percentage of the price increase on this item is really high, generally in the 25% range. I wanted to get it before it hit over $1,000. Today, there's been two price increases since then. It now retails for $1,290. So in less than one year, the cost of this bag has increased $500 from $790 to $1290. In November, I purchased two more bandeaus. I really loved the astrology bandeau, but I wanted a matching set of two for my bag's that have two top handles, such as the Alma and the Speedy. I just brought one out for this video, um, but I did purchase two of this style. I believe it's called the Monogram Forever. It's very pretty with the locks on one side and the plain monogram print on the other. This was the same price as the Virgo Small Bandeau. I purchased it for $200 and it now retails for $210. Finally, my last purchase of 2021 was the Felici in Scarlet Emprunt Leather. I really, really love this bag. I have a comparison video of the Felici and the Pochette Accessoire, which I will link above. I've gotten so much use out of this. I was really happy with the Emprunt Leather on my Neverfull. And I wanted to add another leather piece. This was purchased for $1,420, November 2021. It now retails in May of 22 for $1,620. So this has increased $200 since I purchased it several months ago. Now moving on to my 2022 purchases. So far this year, I've purchased three seasonal items. If you've watched my videos or have followed me on Instagram, you will have seen all of these already. So we'll just get right into it. And there have been no price increases on these items. They're all seasonal. These were all purchased within the last few months. So the price I paid is the current retail value for all of these. 
In January, I purchased the Pocket Organizer from the Men's Spring Summer 2022 collection. This is in the beautiful rose blue illusion leather. This was from one of Virgil's last collections for the Louis Vuitton men's line. This was a very, very popular collection, so I feel very lucky to have gotten this item. This uh, retailed for $635, and I'm not sure if it's still currently available, but if it is, it would retail for the same price. My next purchase was from the Spring in the City collection uh, from Women's. Again, this is another Alma that I added to my collection. I really loved the Alma PM I purchased last year, and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I also wanted to add something in Damier Azor. I didn't have anything in this canvas yet. When I saw this bag come out with this beautiful braided handle, and the white treated leather instead of the vachetta. I just really knew that I had to have this. I paid $1,260 for it. Finally, the last item I purchased just a few months ago is the Victorine wallet from the Damier Azor stud collection. I'm not sure what happened to my audio for this clip, but this was purchased for $690. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. I'm going to share the total what I paid for all of these pieces over the last three years versus what I would pay if I were to buy them from the store today. I have a total of seven bags, four small leather goods, and three bandeaus. I paid a total of $13,530 US dollars. And if I were to buy them from Louis Vuitton today in store, I would pay $16,685. So that is a total increase of $3,155 US dollars. For a relatively small collection of 11 items and three bandeaus, I think a $3,000 increase is a lot. But I do also want to clarify, that's the increase of the retail value. If I were to actually sell my items, some items I could sell for more than their retail value, such as the pocket organizer from the Men's Spring Summer Collection. So I just wanna point that out in terms of the resale value versus the retail value of a collection. As always, thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending some of your time with me today. I hope this was interesting and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye now.